the world is in a state of evolution. And what I mean by evolution is not a physical evolution. Humans are not going to change into something different. The evolution that we're really uh, experiencing now is an evolution in consciousness. A consciousness that has in the past separated us as individuals. A consciousness that has been programmed with a belief that life is a struggle and that we're out here uh, to survive. We have to be in competition with each other and undercut and undermine. And we were acting as individuals looking for our own individual power. But in today's world, there's a new understanding that the evolution is an evolution of consciousness, an evolution of an expansion of we are more than just these physical entities, that there is an energy involved. In Newtonian physics, the conventional ones that most people have learned, atoms are physical particles, like little granules. But in 1925, physicists came to another understanding because they said, so what are those particles made out of you called atoms? And they went inside. And they found there were smaller so-called particles, electrons, protons, and neutrons. But that still wasn't the quest because what are they made out of? And that's when the world changed. Because when quantum physicists started to say, what is an electron or a proton or a neutron made out of? It's made out of energy, not physical, no substance. An atom is like a nano tornado, a spinning force field. There's an illusion that we are physical entities. You're an energy field. And I go, so what the heck difference does that make? And I go, well, here's the interesting part. Particles, I can separate. Here's a particle, here's a particle. Let's talk about one particle. Energy just mixes all together. I'm sitting in a field of energy right now. So if I'm made out of energy, which I am, does it mean that the edge of my energy stops right here? And the answer is no. In quantum mechanics, I'm an energy field. Wherever I go, I'm like a broadcast, broadcasting an energy. Wherever you are right now, you're broadcasting energy. And so in a Newtonian world we grew up with, this is separate from this and that's separate from this. And I go, in a quantum mechanical world, nothing is separate. Everything is an energy field with no borders to it. So what I do in my world it's not just what I do in my world. What I do in my world is broadcast through everything else. And if it resonates or is in harmony with you, my energy can affect your energy. Or my energy can actually cancel your energy. Everything is interconnected. The chair I'm sitting on is energy. The air I'm in breathing with is energy. I'm energy. You're energy. We're all connected in this energy. But the fact is, energies are communications. And we vibrate and broadcast just like a radio. We're broadcasting who we are out into the field and we alter what's going on. It is beyond language. It's a communication that has nothing to do with words. It's an energy that's available if you just want to feel it. And I think that's the big issue, feelings. Because feelings are telling you, you feel good? Yes, I'm having more energy. You feel bad? You feel weak? I'm having less energy. And I say, why is it relevant? It's more powerful than words. Energy can tell me, am I with people that are supporting me because I feel good around them? Or do I have a little quasi feeling of this, it doesn't feel right to me? So we have a new world that we're coming into, and it's based on the energy. And if you can read energy, you are being guided. If you can't read energy, you don't know what's going to happen next. If you follow the words, that's where we have been sold a bill of goods where people say, yeah, these are good words, what do you think? And then you know, I'll buy that because the words, and I say, yeah, but if you ever stop long enough to say, how do you feel about it? Not how, what you hear about it. It empowers you beyond anything in the world. So the wake up call now is, yeah, listen to people, fine, but feel, feel it, people, feel where you are. Feel, is this what I want to do? Do I want to do this or I want to do that? I say, you can ask your head and rationalize anything. When I say, don't ask the question of your head, ask the question of your heart. Your heart is the monitor of the vibration. Your heart will give you an answer more accurate about anything in your world than your rational thinking will.